gunfire this morning at a checkpoint south of Jerusalem. Frightened bus passengers taking cover. Seven people were injured. Israeli officials calling it a terror attack, saying they killed three assailants in response. Inside Gaza, Israel's hunt for Hamas unrelenting. Our team filming the aftermath of another air raid. In Al Shifa Hospital, the Israeli Defense Force says guns, grenades, what it calls a blast door, and technology like a laptop are evidence of a Hamas operational command center. Let's have a look at what we found inside the very same cabinet that houses medical equipment. Hamas, the military wing, Kataib al Qassam, of course, a vest with equipment, and as always, an AK 47. NBC News was not at the hospital to verify the claims. And so far, the Israeli military has not said its ongoing search has found Hamas tunnels under the building. Hamas-run Gazan Health Ministry sent this video from the hospital raid. Israel says it killed, quote, a number of terrorists in the complex. Doctors inside telling of people arrested, some stripped naked, and saying there was no resistance. No single gunshot was uh, fired against them within the hospital. Overnight, President Biden urging a long, elusive political solution. I can't tell you how long it's going to last, but I can tell you I don't think it only ends until there's a two-state solution. Meanwhile, the increasingly desperate families of the hostages wait and pray for their return. Prime Minister Netanyahu's wife writing to First Lady Jill Biden of a pregnant hostage who has likely now given birth and of 32 children kidnapped, including a 10-month-old, Kafir. Yafat is the baby's second cousin. Children are not supposed to be part of this. Some kind of... I don't want to celebrate his first birthday without him. <laughs> there are no words, Savannah. And overnight, President Biden saying that he is mildly hopeful for a negotiated release of between 50 and 100 hostages. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Netanyahu saying, quote, there's no place in Gaza. We will not reach. Savannah. All right. Keir Simmons, thank you very much. And a quick programming note, Lester Holt will have the latest from the Middle East and an interview with Secretary of State Antony Blinken. That is tonight on NBC Nightly News. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.